some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Michigan, where uh, the fraudster known as Travis Hines is, well, pretty upset that uh, that inmates, particularly trustees, have it better than him. I mean, uh, yeah, if you feel like that uh, inmates have a, a better life than you, then uh, you're doing something wrong, dude. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and watch a grown man whine and cry about his situation, one that he could have changed a long time ago. Right, in the two months that I've spent in jail in total, I've never given that, I've been never given the opportunity to throw a football or or play play golf. They don't let me come out, they never let me come outside to, uh, to enjoy the fresh air like the inmates that I saw here. Play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. So what what gives these inmates the the right to be able to enjoy being outside and getting driven around just to play football and, and play sports and, and and mess around? That doesn't look like punishment to me. If you're gonna if you're gonna punish people then do it. Hey, you bozo. Uh, you do realize that jails and prisons do have what's called a trustee program where there are various uh, jobs and other tasks outside of the uh, fences because, well, they can be trusted to uh, do so or there might be other circumstances as to why they do this. So it might be on occasions that the uh, COs who are in charge of their details might let them have a little bit of downtime during these little jobs that they do outside the gates. I thought you would have known that considering you did spend some time in the joint. I mean, according to you, you spent, what, a couple months in there? Was that consecutively or did that get broken up into certain ways? Uh, please tell us. The world wants to know. Guys, let them go. It's it's really ridiculous to, to for me to have to watch them. I'm sitting in my car watching inmates playing football, wondering, you know, because they were giving uh, just a little bit of hint that they were curious about my car. First, one, one inmate pretended to throw a football at my car just to pretend, just joking with the others. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, they're thinking some bad things. And then another inmate, towards the end of their playing, he started walking over to my car, and, and he's like, you know, kind of looking, looking at it. And then he, he read uh, Daily Roamer, which I heard him say. So, it's, it was a little stressful for me to be watching those inmates the way I was sitting in my car as they're over here playing and the, and the, the guard not really paying attention to. Well, that's what being a trustee is all about. You get trusted to do the uh, tasks outside of the jail while the uh, CEO keeps tabs on you. That way they know you don't get away. But it is a great position of respect uh, in that world. But uh, seeing as how you didn't spend... Uh, more than two months in jail, then you would not have qualified for it anyway, and you would have gotten the uh, privileges of that station right there, such as accumulating good time, which is basically a few more days uh, taken off your sentence and stuff like that, you know. You know, Travis, uh, you might as well go ahead and look up these uh, after-prison uh, channels to get the lowdown on this kind of thing, like JD uh, Delay uh, after-prison show. I mean, there's a bunch of them out there that have a lot of information about this kind of thing. He he was inside the building doing whatever he felt like. So it must be pretty good to be uh, put in jail in Michigan because there's a lot of uh, allowances that I see, I see happening 
I mean, for one, I mean, they're allowed outside to uh, just play around out, out wherever. I mean, does that really feel like punishment? They're getting fed, they got places to sleep, they got, they're getting their clothes laundered, and, and, and uh, it doesn't really look like punishment to me. Yeah. Come on now, dude. These guys are still being punished for their crimes. I mean, they just can't walk away from the CEO that's guarding them at that point. Otherwise, they would lose these privileges and uh, gain extra time. Now, something tells me that you are super jealous of the fact that these guys have it better than you. I mean, these guys actually uh, can get their clothes washed anytime they need it. They uh, will have three hots and a cot and a roof over their head. Uh, what about you, dude? I mean, you live in that car, which I've seen is quite messy to begin with. I mean, are you really, really, truly jealous of these guys that they have it better than you? I mean, if you're not punished, if you're not going to punish them, let them go. And they had these uh, weed trimmers, weed whackers in the back of their the the trail the trailer in the back of the van that they were pulling and they didn't pull them out they, they came up here twice they came up here the first time with no trailer in an unmarked van there was no marking on it you would not know that it was a sheriff's vehicle now I question is there any law that says that the the vehicle needs to be marked as as sheriff especially when they're carrying inmates you know travis that might be left up to the individual states because you know there's such a thing as the tenth amendment and i know in my state there are uh, uh vans that are marked for this uh, kind of thing but as far as other states yeah, I'm not going to look up the laws for all 50 states. If you want to know, then go to your local library and uh, use that thing called the uh, computers over there and look up the Google and, uh, well, look it up yourself. An unmarked van came up here in the morning time and they were messing around in here. I'm sure it's locked. It's some kind of ski hill, ski hill resort type of a, a building. And they didn't have that trailer with the weed whackers. They go away for a few hours. And they come back with the trailer with weed whackers. And, and then they just kind of play around. And uh, it, it has, it's a cause of concern for me to see that. This is a public area. I mean, I've seen it in Mississippi where, you know, the, the inmates are vacuuming and cleaning, dusting, br using a broom in the library, doing all kinds of cleaning stuff but I mean if they got them doing work uh, that's taking away from the labor force you're, you're putting the labor into the the inmates duties around the county and and that takes competition away from from other people doing that, that are you stupid or something those, those were prisoner weed whackers that they were using and and but they didn't use them they just they're just kind of carrying them around they came up here to to grab a, a golf club and a and a football and and hang out in in the building uh joking around and the parks guy came here too uh but the the jail guard had a key to get inside he didn't have to wait for the parks guy to let him in the jail has keys for the the ski hill lodge to let the the inmates in and and do whatever i mean I, i've i've seen in mississippi the uh inmates on a riding lawnmower mowing a park so they have them mowing uh on riding lawnmowers they could just ride around but i mean if if they're allowed so much responsibility if they could be trusted so much let them go I mean, what's, where's the punishment? The punishment comes in at, in the fact that they can't go anywhere at their will. Or they can't leave the work area without there being consequences to their trustee status. Now, with that being said, uh, these trustees are there to uh, 
work off the debt to society that they have. Now, there's a controversial issue about the 14th Amendment in this particular scenario that, uh, well, some people will classify them as slaves. But, you know, slaves never had any real choice in their matters. These guys chose to become trustees, and once their uh, sentence is completed, they get to go home. And you know what? Many of them will probably still be living better than you are in your car. I am sure of that. All right, the, the punishment is, is, is doing that. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's very economical for the taxpayer to, to be having this this moderate punishment system uh, letting them play around and, and get uh, provided the free the free uh, meals and and, play, and and somewhere to sleep at night so because I spent two months in jail and I was never allowed to go outside all right I I couldn't play football or, or hit a golf play with a golf club or come out come out here to the ski hill to hang out they didn't let me do that in the whole two months and I wasn't convicted of anything in those two months okay I shouldn't have spent the day in jail but but I did and and I was isolated and and put in in some tough cell blocks with other people and and I mean I had I had no violent there was no violent uh, uh, like uh, like charges against me in any way yet I I'm stuck in jail where I watch other inmates get to walk around freely like and, and play like like they're uh, already uh, simply a part of the the community any you know and then just have to stay at the jail at night and, and wear the orange uniforms so it's it's really frustrating to to watch how they're, they're given so many liberties where as I've spent a, a, a lot of time in jail and have developed a lot of anxiety uh, while in jail and, and uh, seven seven different arrests and and uh, developing anxiety sitting in jail while these guys get to relax it doesn't seem very fair to me to, that I have to to deal with with uh, um, seeing how other inmates are treated so much better so some, something needs to be uh, um, like uh, balanced put into better balance than how it is right now in all this complaining dude it sounds more like you are jealous that they get to live a better life than you you know what dude uh here's a piece of friendly advice you know straighten out your life don't uh mess around with the kitties anymore and maybe you won't get in trouble as much i mean then maybe you can afford to uh have a place to stay rent a place or something like that and just uh relax at your uh own uh apartment or house or whatever and just sit down and watch some tv or whatever you like to do in your off time it's not that hard at times i mean you just gotta apply yourself unfortunately a lot of frauditors don't attempt to apply themselves in that particular fashion which is why they're nothing but a bunch of failures in life so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one this could be some groundbreaking stuff right here Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?